Welcome to Dory Vita on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show how to use the button macro within Harlow 3.3. So the button macro is very similar to the meter macro in that is a different, re <laughs> different visual representation of existing data. Same interaction, but a different visual presentation. So when we're looking at the meter macro, we're showing a visual re representation of percentage data from 0 to 100. For the button macro, we're showing a button or a visual representation of a button to represent a link. So let's go ahead and jump into examples. So we've seen many different ways to get user input. We can use sequence, cycling, we can use repeating values. We've also seen the use of input and input box. So if we want to present links in a slightly different way, we can use the button macro. The button macro allows us to create or translate, I should say, a link into a different visual representation. However, it only works with links or things that create links. And that second part is going to be incredibly important when we get to it here in just a little bit. So first, let's look at the button macro. The button macro by itself, just button and then is attached to a hook. And this is incredibly important because whatever is in the hook needs to be a link or it needs to be the result of a link, which is to say it needs to have a link within it. So this right here won't do anything. This will just say button and an exclamation point, but we won't actually see a button. However, this right here will produce a button because it has a link inside the hook. And button, similar to what we've seen with box and float box and now with the meter macro we can position so if we want it over on the left hand side the centered or the right hand side using the equal signs to allow us to position it horizontally just like we saw with box and float box so let's go ahead and play the story from just example one and then we'll make things slightly more complicated so as we see, just using text within a hook will not generate a button. It needs to be a link. In fact, it must be a link to generate it. However, this generates a button right here. And notice by default, it fills the entire space, very similar to the meter macro, which is why the, in sequence, the meter macro was discussed before we got here. So fills the whole thing right here by default. But we can also position a button horizontally. So this is two equal signs and an X. This is an equal sign, an X and an equal sign. And this over here is two equal signs and an X the other way around. So we've got left, center, and right. And notice they are positioned within their own spaces using the equal signs to position something horizontally, just like we saw with box and with float box correspondingly. So let's make things slightly more complicated. So we've seen if we want to create a button that we need a link. Well, there are many macros within Harlow that create links as a result of their functionality. Like link, for example, the link macro creates a link. And so does link rerun or link reveal or a number of other things that exist within Harlow that produce links as a result, which means the button will be applied to the result of that macro. Let's look at this. So let's say we wanted to create something that every time we click the button, it changed some value. Well, what we could do is we could use link rerun, which produces a link, and then put code inside its hook. So we've got code inside of a hook attached to link rerun, which will produce a link, attached to button, which will produce a button as a result. So in this right here, we've now got three different layers of functionality, three different macros a set macro inside a link rerun inside of a button. So this will change code every time this link is run, and this link will be changed into a button due to the button macro. And then we can see the current value by clicking on link rerun right here. So let's change over to example two. So I'm gonna start story from example two. So the macro button works with links and macros that produce links. So what if we increase, increase, which our current value is three increase, four, increase, five. So notice we can change links over into buttons, or we can change anything that would have produced links. So link we rerun is one of the macros that produces links to also create buttons in the same way. And this can be incredibly powerful if we want to use buttons as part of our interface or visual presentation within a story. As we've already seen, there are a number of macros that produce links, link re rerun being one of them, and within that can be code that is rerun or revealed or however we want to interpret that. 
So this really opens the door to creating more complex stories or projects within Twine using Harlow. So especially within Harlow 3.3, we can start to now layer different macros, one after another after another, in this case a set macro, inside the linked rerun inside of a button. All based on functionality we've already seen across these videos, functionality we've started to put into play here. But the important thing, at least in this video, is looking at the button macro, again borrowing from ideas we've seen across other macros up to this point, but allowing us to transform a link or the result of a link, or something that produces a link, in other words, and translating that into a button, a different visual representation of the same underlying data. Just like we saw with meter, we're now seeing with button, working in a very similar way, changing that visual, <laughs> changing that visual presentation within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.